Uh, good morning, Bermuda. We're standing outside of the St. John's AME Church here in beautiful Hamilton Parish. Uh, the update as of uh, this morning, uh, the briefing that I've received was that there was uh, no storm-related injuries, casualties in any way, no major structure damage. The roads are passable. As you can see during this interview, you'll see cars pass, uh, trucks pass. So um, we have roughly, according to Belco, 10 minutes ago, uh, Belco has reported that in the Evans Bay area, there's approximately 50 customers without power right now. Uh, they're working, of course, to restore that throughout the morning and further updates from Belco and from other agencies will follow. I really wanted to say thank you to everyone in Bermuda again for their patience and understanding uh, and cooperation with all the emergency services uh, during uh, the lead up to this tropical storm and of course during the tropical storm. It happened you know, uh, overnight so many of us were uh, tucked away, uh, already prepared and uh, so it wasn't a major impact or disruption to Bermuda whatsoever. Uh, but again, we have to remember that as a community we again came together uh, and that's encouraging. Uh, and it's also um, uh, reminds me to call on the public again to reach out to some of the more vulnerable uh, people in your neighborhoods, on your streets, your neighbors perhaps, those who are seniors um, who really uh, might still feel a bit insecure about the winds and the rain. Uh, the conditions haven't improved quite yet. Um, of course, it's fine right now, but uh, it still looks great. It's still rainy out. So if you have a senior in your neighborhood, if you have anyone vulnerable in your neighborhood, please reach out to them. Uh, and if they need any assistance beyond what you can offer, then contact some of the authorities, and we'll make sure that we go out there and we can help out as much as we can.